And our next guest is pushing back on the anti-ESG investment backlash. So we got like a few negatives here. We're going to have to explain this spreading across the country. Let's bring in New York City controller Brad uh, Lander. Uh, the New York City Pension Fund manages more than $200 billion, represents more than 750,000 current uh, and retired workers. So we're now in the pushback against the anti-ESG pushback. Yep. Okay. So that's where we are. <laughs> and it's a, it, a, lot, a lot has happened, and, and welcome. It's, it's good to see you, Brad. Thank a lot you. Good morning. Great to be here. Lots happened in, in, uh, in recent weeks, and we're going to have Senator Mike Braun uh, on a little bit later today. Here's the way he described his bill, which passed with Senator Manchin uh, and Senator, Senator Tester. Tester yeah. So I know I'm calling it bipartisan. Same way some <laughs> Democrats call it. When Romney and somebody goes with Democrats, they call it bipartisan. Yeah. So I'm calling it bipartisan, as, as crazy as that sounds. <laughs> anyway, um, and Senator Braun says a reason for it is because he doesn't want money managers to invest based on progressive political goals rather than on the best rate of return. Another way to say it, I mean, Senator Manchin, when he voted for it, said it prioritized, voted against being able to do it, it prioritizes politics over getting the best return for millions of Americans' retirement funds. I mean, that, that's what they say. But l let me, I want to start with the G, because the G in ESG is good. often underrated. Last year, so we got these New York City pension funds, $240 billion. That's the retirement security of teachers and cops and firefighters. Last year, we brought shareholder resolutions at a couple of pharmaceutical companies because we were concerned they didn't have strong enough rules against insider trading. Okay. Now, maybe Senator Braun doesn't care about insider trading. Maybe pharmaceutical invest, uh, executives are big donors to his campaign. I can't say. But we view insider trading as stealing from those teachers and cops and firefighters. Oh, so you're, you're, you're uh, kind of ESG, setting up a straw man here. Nobody, no, no, nobody's going to be against Okay, the G is but good. But that's G. The G well, is good. This is a shareholder. We brought okay. shareholder resolutions that, as I read this legislation, uh, it is designed to prevent investors like us from bringing shareholder resolutions at companies to say we care about your environmental, social, and governance risks. Insider trading is a governance risk. Uh, you could ask Senator Braun whether he means to be preventing the New York City pension funds from shareholder right. engagement okay. to prevent well, insider trading, but that's what the bill would do. That, look, part of it has been that the, there should be more focus on the G, G instead of the E and the S. I'll take the S for a minute, though, today. I think okay. this week the S, in addition to standing for social, should stand for Starbucks. Okay. Uh, so we've been trying for a couple of years to get Starbucks to pay attention to the risk as a result of the fact that they're not following their own policies or the law around their workers organizing, trying to organize a union. This week, a federal judge found that they're going to have to pay millions of dollars, and poor Howard Schultz is going to have to record a video telling workers what their rights are if they had just right. listened but, to our okay, corporate engagement.